In the quiet dark of night, high above the Chilean Andes, a new eye is opening on the cosmos. But this isn't just any telescope. This is the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, a scientific time machine poised to capture the universe in motion. And here at Wormhole to Cosmos, we're about to take you on a journey into what may become the most important eye humanity has ever turned toward the stars. Perched atop Cerro Pachon, Chile, nearly 9,000 feet above sea level, Rubin Observatory isn't just built to look, it's built to remember. Every few nights, its 8.4-meter Simoni Survey Telescope will sweep the southern sky, snapping pictures with a 3,200-megapixel camera the size of a small car. It's the largest camera ever put into space science, capable of spotting a dime from 15 miles away. This isn't still photography. It's a living, breathing movie of the night sky. Over 10 years, it will capture the entire visible sky about 800 times, creating a cosmic time lapse of unprecedented clarity. Pulsating stars, newborn supernovae, hurtling asteroids. If it flashes, flickers, or moves, Rubin will catch it. Every night, 20 terabytes of data will pour down from the mountain. And the magic? Within minutes of spotting a change in the sky, Rubin will issue an alert to scientists worldwide. Imagine seeing a star explode in real time or discovering a wandering asteroid just days before it brushes past Earth. Its origins trace back to the 1990s when scientists imagined a dark matter telescope that could unmask the unseen. Decades later, thanks to visionaries like Charles Simonyi and support from NSF and the DOE, that dream is now steel, glass, and silicon. Named after astronomer Vera Rubin, the woman who proved dark matter exists, this observatory is more than a machine. It's a legacy, a promise that for the next decade and beyond, we won't just look at the stars, we'll watch them dance. And speaking of dance, stay tuned. The Rubin Observatory has just released its first images, and they're nothing short of spectacular. A delicate blue spiral galaxy rests beside a golden elliptical, two stellar giants suspended in the darkness. But they're just the beginning. This image, called the Cosmic Treasure Chest, is made from over 1,100 exposures captured by the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. What fills the frame is a tapestry of more than 10 million galaxies, each one a vast system of stars, some colliding, others clustered like distant jewels. And this stunning view represents just 0.05% of what Rubin will capture during its 10-year legacy survey of space and time. By the end, we'll have detailed images of 20 billion galaxies, ushering in a new era of cosmic exploration. A cosmic bloom appears, the Trifid Nebula, shaped like a flower in space. Below it, the Lagoon Nebula swirls in magenta, speckled with newborn stars. Together, they span a region nine times wider than the full moon. This is the second release from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, made from over 678 exposures captured in just over seven hours of observing time. The image reveals glowing clouds of gas, dark dust lanes, and millions of stars packed so densely they blur into a golden haze. In some regions, new stars are still forming, igniting in the womb of interstellar clouds. It's a breathtaking look into our galaxy's dynamic heart, an early glimpse of what Rubin will continue to uncover in the years ahead. A silent field of galaxies stretches across the darkness. But watch closely. One star brightens by 30% in just 30 minutes. Another flickers 11% in 12, then a third glowing 21% brighter in half an hour. These are RR Lyrae variable stars, stellar beacons pulsing with quiet precision, helping astronomers chart distance and structure far beyond our galactic core. 
In this third release, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory offers an early glimpse of the dynamic sky it will reveal. Over the next 10 years, Rubin will detect up to 100,000 of these stars, reaching a million light years out, mapping the galaxy's halo and tracing its bridge toward Andromeda. 46 of them are captured here, each marked in teal, each beating with ancient cosmic rhythm, echoing through the vast silence of space. In just 10 hours, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory discovered 2,104 brand new asteroids, including seven near-Earth ones, none posing danger. It begins with a quiet star field, then motion, tiny points of light drifting across space. First one, then nine, then dozens. 36 asteroids caught in the act. The panels fade, replaced by teal dots. Night one, over 1,000 new objects. By night seven, 2,104. Most are main belt asteroids, others marked in purple and yellow, distant and unusual. Rubin is just getting started. Within two years, it will find millions more, surpassing all other observatories combined, and it may even catch the rarest visitors of all, interstellar objects quietly passing through our solar system. From galaxies to nebulae, stars to asteroids, we've just witnessed the opening chapter of the Vera C. Rubin Observatory's journey. With only a handful of early observations, Rubin has revealed breathtaking views of star birth, stellar rhythms, and a swarm of new worlds moving through our solar system. And this is just the beginning. Over the next decade, Rubin will change how we see the universe, and here on Wormhole to Cosmos, we'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you to all our viewers and subscribers for your continued support. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the dynamic sky above us, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss what's next. Together, we'll explore every new discovery, every image, every mystery Rubin reveals. Remember, the universe is vast, mysterious, and full of wonders waiting to be explored. Stay curious, keep looking up, and until next time, keep your eyes on the stars.